I know you know all this. I mean, it's probably running rampant in uh, Southern and Northern California, but really, I think you should gas up the old van and uh, get up to uh, uh, NBC and uh, immediately get yourself an agent and say that you are interested in becoming the new Charlie Sheen because he has just been fired and um, you would like to try out for the part. I mean, after all, um, you know, you guys are not that far apart in age. But anyway, um, uh, I think you could put a new take on the show and then we wouldn't have to be without it since we watch it about four times a day and we're running out of reruns. So uh, think about it and, uh, you know, get your clothes ready and get your Jeep ready, or I mean your van ready, and get it washed maybe and uh, uh, comb your hair down. Let's have none of it sticking out like that kid and the little rascal. Let's just, uh, you know, and wear, wear a, a Charlie Sheen shirt, you know, uh, and uh, the shorts, and wear the white socks with the loafers, and just, you know, you'd be perfect. You would be perfect. Oh, it's CBS, CBS. So, uh, you know, just rush over there because, you know, John Stamos, they're talking about him, but he would be such a washout. And you even resemble Charlie Sheen more than he does. And he just, he really kind of looks too um, feeble for the part, you know. And uh, it's got to be somebody with a knockout body. So maybe you could get a, you know, smaller size shirt and wear it outside the, uh, the uh, Bermuda shorts and, you know, you could really, I mean, work yourself up to $2 million a show. Hey, it's worth a try. What have you got to lose? So anyway, as I say, gas up the old van, get your clothes together, uh, take a few more than usual, if you don't have that kind of a shirt, go out and buy one and uh, really put yourself out. Get you, you know, get somebody to professionally type your resume and, um, you know, just say that you've been in a lot of civic theater non-profit shows. And, you know, just if they, if they want you to read, then read. Read for them. And don't, don't act goofy, you know. Just say that you've been in a lot of civic theater non-profit shows. 